head to alpha.midjourney.com and sign in, head over to create. And if you head over 10,000 generations on your profile, head to create and you can start creating artwork. Type a prompt into the top bar and hit enter. Give it a little bit of time and your artwork is good to go. And that's how you can quite easily create artwork using this new alpha website. Find one of the generations you like and you can click on it and bring up some options. And you can go down, you can re-roll, you can very strong or subtle or completely remix. You can upscale by two or four. You can pan up, down, left or right, zoom out. You can use the prompt or even use the image, which I'll click on now so we can use for another prompt. So you can use that image quite easily in your next piece of AI art. You can scroll up and down through your creations here or close them and go back and wait for your next lot of images to show up. And this is all pretty fresh and new and soon it will be rolled out a bit more uh, on a bit more of a wider scale. But for now, if you've created more than 10,000 generations with your Midjourney account, you can log into alpha.midjourney.com and use this create function on the website, which is pretty exciting. Also leads to the possibility of free trials coming back, although I haven't read anything about that, but this is very exciting news for Midjourney users. But there's still more to it here. If I decide I want to upload an image instead of use the image I just created, I can go to plus and upload an image here. So that's pretty handy as well. I can also change my settings by clicking this settings tab over here. I can go from portrait, which is three to four, landscape, which is four to three, or I can adjust this slider to get different aspect ratios. So if I want something that's pretty tall, like nine to 16, I can slide it to there. I can change the model from standard to raw, even change the version number. So Niji one through to five and 5.2. And if I want to, I could pop it on turbo or relax and adjust my stylization. So that's your stylized parameter. The weird parameter, we'll pop that up a little bit, pop stylize up a little bit and variety, which was previously known as chaos. We can pump that up a bit as well. And now I pop in another idea for a prompt and I can create it using these settings. And we've been able to create this weird set of imagery. Now again, there's actually a little bit more to it. If I want to go back to my plus and add an image, like this alien here, what I can also do is head over to this image, click the information button, and it will use slash describe to come up with some information. But there's a bit of a difference. If I want to, I can click bits and pieces to add to my prompt. So I can click cartoon alien wearing headphones watching TV, shot on 70 mil, in the style of digital neo-expressionism, in the style of and I can just add in bits and pieces and it will create and craft a prompt for me. I hit enter. I've created some unique AI art that way. Now, if I just head back to explore and find a prompt I really like, maybe this light bulb made from concrete, I can use this prompt, use the image very strong or even re-roll. So I can re-roll other people's prompts as well. So I click re-roll, come back to create and I can wait for that to show up again. So you see what we have here is a re-roll of that original prompt. So this is the start, just the beginning of what the Midjourney website can become. This is Alpha. So highly recommend if you're a Midjourney user with over 10,000 generations, head to alpha.midjourney.com. Have a play with this and let me know what you think. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider giving it a like. And don't forget to check out my channel for more Midjourney tutorials. Always have a great day and I hope to see you again soon.